Uh, we're gonna go through five uh, five ways you can uh, achieve better results. Nolan, why don't you start with number one? So uh, for me personally, it's it's attacking the the weaknesses of the things that you might not not necessarily want to do. Um, as an example, like I know for me, it's burpees, right? So when I see burpees program on the board, or I see it on Facebook the night before, like I know it's like, hey, like I have to go, like you know, just get in that work because it's going to push me to where you know I I, I want to be, right? So just you know, just being fitter and you know, like getting the results that I want. So that, that would be you know, like my thing for you know, like more consistent results. What you got, Gail? Um, I would say listening to the coaches, uh, whether it be looking to maybe dial back on the load for um, any barbell work uh, just to keep technique um, the way that we want it. We want to make, make sure that everybody's moving well um, to uh, keep away from any injuries um, and just to dial back and work technique rather than going for that PR, making sure that we're like hitting, putting on all the weight and making sure that we're trying to PR rather than like just again dialing back and make sure we're moving well. Um, you know, we we're all here to make sure everybody gets their results by moving well, and then we can work technique into getting to that PR load. So just listening to the coaches throughout class, whatever we give you, we're giving it to you because we want you to um, be the best and get your results as quick as possible. Well, kind of like off that too, it's like your body cannot handle going heavy or like pushing like 90% all the time. Like CNS would be fine, like your body's going to break down, like you're meant to live in like that like 60 to like 80% bubble, not crushing your soul every day, trying to PR something, right? Um, down the line. Really? <laughs> um, for me, it would definitely be finding the proper balance and moderation in your diet. Um, I know for me, I can't not have sweets or treats sometimes, but knowing that I need to eat healthy and vegetables and good foods the majority of the time but give myself that one day where I'll have some ice cream or a cookie so that I don't go on to that binge where I'm like, I haven't had anything like sweet or savory in three months and now I'm just going to eat like crap for a month. Trash so <laughs> finding that balance has definitely been huge for me in learning how to eat properly and then see better results um, physically and both like feeling good inside too. But uh, my recommendation is uh, getting more sleep and getting better sleep as well. So that could be seven to nine hours that I would recommend trying to aim for every night. So that could be disciplining yourself to you know, go to bed a little bit earlier. That way you do get in all of those hours of sleep. And once you do start to get on that uh, consistent rhythm and path of getting those hours, you're just going to start to, to feel better uh, throughout the day, your mood's going to be better, your energy's going to be higher, uh, and your, your hunger is going to be regulated, so sleep has a lot to do with uh, recovery and also performing your best in the gym. Nailed it. Nailed it! Uh, last one would be train five times a week minimum. Um, we vary the programming, and obviously hit variance pretty well throughout the, the seven days here. And now with Power Hour and Power Hour probably even expanding, there's a lot of opportunity there. Uh, so the person that comes five times uh, a week across a month, across a year, has almost double the time in terms of training and exposure than the person coming once, twice a week, th even three times a week. So getting in here, getting your time in, getting your results, it only comes by coming in here and, and working hard. Get those gains.